Yeah, so we're here at the Dolby Wind Farm. It's an electricity wind farm. It's a nine turbine site. What we're doing today is that we're going to do a badger survey in this one field here where we're planning to build a new solar farm to complement the wind farm. We don't think there's any badgers here, but we do have to always check just in case they have moved in. So we're just going to walk around the edge of the field looking for any signs and I'll, I'll pick up any signs and I'll point them out if we see any. So when you're doing badger surveys, one of the things you look out for is you look for any sort of holes or diggings to see if a badger's been using it. It's not a badger because if it was a badger set, there'd be lots of spoil coming out. So that's actually quite an active bit of digging there. So these, these are just uh, rabbit holes in the, in the hedgerow here. A rabbit hole's about that big, badger holes are about that big and there'd be a lot more soil put out and there'd also be classic footprints of badgers and almost certainly there'd be really well marked tracks into the field and going going around the field because badgers regularly walk their tracks every night to mark their territories and you see here that's obviously a sign of something scrabbling around in in the grasses there um, it's probably a fox because that looks like that was a small mammal nest in there and a the fox has probably just dug it out and probably tried to eat whatever's in there. There is a very vague path here. If this was badgers, it would be much, much more uh, visible and, and well padded down. And you always look for signs of um, badger hairs caught on the barbed wire, but there aren't any. Obviously, it's, it's rained here and the, and the field's fairly wet, so any footprints may, may have been uh, washed away. But in reality, badgers, because they walk their paths or they follow their trails virtually every night, they're very well worn. And also, badger footprints are incredibly distinctive. They're, they've got five, there's always five toe marks and sometimes claws and a big pad in, in their footprints. So this is, um, it's quite a big hole and it's potential that a, a badger could get there. You see, you've actually got rabbit fur caught there. Also, with, with holes like this, you sometimes give a sniff to see if you can smell a badger or um, see any signs of, of foxes. So there's absolutely no signs of badger footprints in there or, or anything. So it's pretty soft soil, and we've just seen a rabbit run away from here, so I'm pretty sure that actually is rabbit. In fact, it's rabbit droppings here. There's a bit of a path along the top here. I think obviously something has been moving along here and I've been looking out for signs of a, a latrine or any footprints, but there's nothing obvious. Okay, so I was just looking around the edge of these uh, muck heaps because at this time of year, it's the sort of thing badgers might come and forage around looking for worms um, and invertebrates, but there's, there's no signs there. When we build the solar farm, it'll actually cover the whole of this field with solar panels. And so it's actually a nice complement uh, to balance the, the power generation from this site. We've just uh, finished walking around this field where the solar farm's going to be, and we found no signs of badgers, no footprints, no latrines, no, no sets, a few signs of rabbits. Um, so that means that we can write a short report saying that no badgers have moved into the area. Um, and uh, I think that's one of the last things we need to do in terms of ecological conditions before the, uh, the solar park can be built.